All right, so in this video, you're going to learn how to do linear regression in the calculator. Um, so the first thing you have to do is turn on diagnostic. And so to do that, you're going to press second zero to get to the catalog. Now you can scroll all the way to you see D for diagnostic, or there's a shortcut. If you press this X to the negative one button, it will take you to the D section. And so if you hit that and you scroll down to find diagnostic on, which is right here, you're going to hit enter. Okay, so then diagnostic on, hit enter again. So now your diagnostic is on. Um, you need diagnostic to do part B, correlation coefficient, okay? So just always make sure that your diagnostic is on, okay? All right, so for linear regression, you're always going to go to the stat button, okay? In this stat button, you can choose to edit tables, which is what we're about to do. So you're going to hit edit first, okay? L1 stands for list one and L2 stands for um, the other list. The thing you're going to do is you're going to type the X column into the list 1 column and then the uh, Y column into the L2 column. But real quick, let's say for example that someone before you has a bunch of data in a calculator and you want to get rid of it. To clear a list, what you have to do is scroll up to the L1 column, so that's highlighted. And then if you hit the clear button, nothing happens right now, but if you scroll down, your list will be cleared. So again, to clear a list, you scroll up to the list, you hit the clear button, and scroll back down, and they will all be gone. Okay, so first thing is you need to input all this data. So I'm going to input a 7, I'm going to input 3, 5, 1, 0, 6, 4, and 2. Okay, so now I'm going to scroll over to the right column to enter this other column in, so 88, 79, 92, 71, 62, 94, 82, and 65, okay? So notice that my columns matched up evenly for every number I had an output, okay? You need to always make sure that your columns match up because if you have a number on the left side but not a number on the right side, you're going to get error in a mismatched dimension, okay? So, once you have your table um, typed in, you're going to repress stat, okay? So now I need to calculate something, so I'm going to go over and press the right button to calculate. So this topic is on linear regression, okay? So we're going to go press 4, or you can scroll down to 4. So you can scroll down to 4 and hit enter, or you can just press the button 4. Um, your calculator says something different. Um, it says L1, L2... Um, something else, something else. Um, make sure it says L1 and L2, and then you just scroll all the way down to hit the calculate button. So if you need help with that, um, please raise your hand right now and let me know. Um, otherwise, you should get something that looks like this on your screen. Okay? And so all this is telling you is it's telling you the equation. So remember, it's y equals mx plus b, but in this case, it's y equals ax plus b. So this A number right here is going to go where the A is, and your B is going to go where the B is. Um, what things to notice, um, there's lots of decimals involved in this. We're going to round to the nearest thousandth, um, so you're going to have three decimal places, okay? So to start off with, you're going to have Y equals 4.536, because this 7 is going to bump up that 5 to a 6, okay? Um, then we're going to write our x plus your b value of 30 or 63.25, okay? So again, the a is your slope and the b is your y-intercept, okay? So when it asks for a line of best fit, um, you're going to do linear regression in the calculator. Correlation coefficient is the r, so you're going to ignore the r squared. Um, so you're going to say that the correlation coefficient is 0.915. Okay, the reason it's a 5 is because this 6 bumps that 4 up to a 5. Okay, what does it tell you about the data? Remember, the closer to 1 the data is, the stronger um, it is. And so this tells you it's a pretty strong correlation. Um, so the data is pretty accurate. Okay, so if your data is accurate, that means you can use this equation up here to kind of predict things for the future or kind of in between at this table that we don't see. 
So the closer to one, the more accurate the data, the stronger the correlation, okay? Um, what's the slope of the equation? Remember, slope is next to your x. So it's 4.536. And what does it mean in the context of the problem? Um, so slope happens every time. So what it means is for every hour, let me go ahead and type, for every hour, you will earn 4.5 points, or for every hour studying, you will earn 4.5 points on your quiz. Okay. So again, you're going to start at your y-intercept. So like, you're going to start at 63, and for every hour you study after that, you're going to earn about four points on your quiz, okay? Um, again, right here, what's the y-intercept? Um, your y-intercept is that last number, so 63.25. Um, what does it mean in the problem? Um, that means um, it is the grade you would get without studying. So if you chose not to study in your quiz, um, that's going to be your starting point. So you can hope to get a 63 on that quiz. Okay. All right. Lastly, any time it wants you to predict something, that means you're going to be using this equation that you found up here. So it wants to predict the student's grade for studying for eight hours. And so I know that hours is my x column. So I need to substitute eight in for x. And remember when we do that, we substitute with parentheses. So I'd have 4.536 parentheses 8, because I'm substituting it in, plus 63.25. Okay? So all you would do is type that in. So we can actually do that together if this would work, but it's not. Okay. So 4.536 times 8 plus 63.25. So that person should make a 99.53 on their quiz. So let's go ahead and round that up to 100. So if you study for eight hours, you can expect to get 100. Might not happen, but it could. All right. Next one says, if a student receives a 70 on a quiz, how many hours did they study? So notice that this is a Y value, OK? So because your quiz grades are in this Y column, so when they give you a Y value, you're going to have to input this 70 where this Y is and solve this part. So when you plug it in, you would have 70 equals the right side of your equation, X plus 63.25, okay? Anytime they give you a Y value, you're going to have to solve a two-step problem for X, okay? So first thing you would have to do is subtract 63.25 from both sides and get 6.75 equals 4.536x. Last step is to divide by 4.536. So the grade, or the number of hours they should study, so 6.75 divided by 4.536. I think I did something wrong. Nope. So 1.4, which that just rounds to about 1.5 hours. So they should spend about 1.5 hours setting if they wanted to make a 70 on the quiz. Okay. All right. So that is how you answer some questions based on linear regression. Um, we're going to turn the page real quick and go over how to do the steps in the calculator again so you can get some more practice. Um, first thing, um, it wants you to graph this. Um, so go ahead, take a time to graph that and press pause, and then we will go over the answers. So press pause. 
and if you graphed it, you should have got something like this, okay? But now I need to input this data into the calculator. So the first thing you do is press stat and enter. And so you need to clear this list off from what we did before. So go up and press clear and go down. Go up, press clear and go down, okay? I'm going to turn it to this slide over here so I can get this table. Um, but you're going to type in your data. So 2, 1, 4, 2, 3, 4, 2.5, 3, 3.5, and 1.5. Hop over to the LCOM, 80, 30, 175, 125, 140, 150, 100, 100, 2, 2, 5, and 50. All right, so once you type that data in, the first thing it wants you to do um, is to determine the correlation coefficient. So again, you're going to press stat, go over to calculate, and go to 4. Again, you're going to have to go all the way down to calculate to hit enter, but you should get this to pop up. So the correlation, 1, it's positive. And then the correlation coefficient is 0.8. Four, eight. Okay, which is pretty good. That's kind of close to one. Um, the equation of line of best fit would be y equals your a, which was forty-eight point one six three x. Um, take away ten point one three one because that was your b term. Okay. All right. So again, that is how you write the equation of line of best fit. Again, round to three decimal places, so look at the third decimal and the number after it. If it bumps it up, round that number up. Okay, so now um, why don't you try A and B? So predict how many students can type in A in 15 minutes, and then predict how long it will take someone to type a 2,500 word essay. So these are both X values, and then this would be a Y value example. So try that, and then press pause. All right, so when I plugged in 8 for this first one, I got 375 words. Um, again, you can't have 0.17, so I just left it as 375. Um, when you plugged in 15, I got 712 words um, is what you can read in 15 minutes. Um, lastly, I set up an equation um, because 2,500 was a Y value. Um, I solved that, and I got 52.11. Um, can't really have 0.11 minutes, so I just left it as 52 minutes um, is how long it would take. To solve that, okay? So that's a little intro on um, solving linear regression in your calculator. Um, you can try the rest um, and let me know if you have questions. Otherwise, that was a quick video on how to do line of best fit and correlation coefficient in the calculator. Thanks for watching.